So, when it comes to being in the battle of style, performance, design and speed, these two bad boys are always above and beyond the game. Yes, we're talking about the Honda CB300R and the BMW G310R. With these two bikes being in the main focus, one can determine the kind of quality and efficiency they deliver when it comes to different parameters such as speed, performance, weight and design, etc. But where do they stand individually if we talk about their specifications separately? Well, let's find that out here. Now, we're all aware of the fact that in the dynamic world of motorcycling, enthusiasts are always on the lookout for a perfect blend of performance, power and handling in their machines. When it comes to the Honda CB300R and the BMW G310R, both of these modern techs reflect two different ideas of the modern street motorcycle. Despite being in the same sector, these bikes represent distinct design philosophies and engineering approaches. So, where do these bikes fall in terms of those parameters? Let's discuss them one by one. The first and foremost thing we're going to talk about is the design of these bikes and that's where the game gets tight between the two. When it comes to Honda CB300R, its design is the main thing, putting the machine's blackened hardware on show. It's also extremely clean, lending a hard-edged attitude to the lightweight bike culture. The bike's tail unit is scarcely visible, but it also has that separate rider and passenger seat, along with a nylon rear mudguard mount. Apart from that, the foot peg hangers for the rider and passenger are made of aluminium, a true example of authentic work. Apart from those features on the design, the bike also has a lightweight, full-function LCD instrument display that is slim and gives easy readouts for speed, engine RPM, fuel level and shift light, with warning lights arranged across the top. Full LED illumination, including turn indicators, gives a premium feel and helps to maximize mass centralization. The headlight of the bike features a dual bar light that is set on upper for low beam and lower for high beam, while the backlight is the thinnest ever fitted on a Honda motorbike. On the other hand, the BMW carries itself with the air of a huge bike, but in a more compact package. It begins with an aerodynamic, molded front fender with uprights that serve as spoilers for the fork tubes that follow closely behind. On top of that, the LED headlight is housed in its sleek patterns that complements the overall design and produces enough lumens to provide effective two-way visibility. Above the headlight can, a vestigial fly screen encloses the rear of the instrument display, which is a high-contrast LCD arrangement that displays all relevant information in one accessible spot. The bike's cockpit is sleek, with no unnecessary buttons to clutter things up, and both hand levers are configurable for palm size and comfort. Truly, these bikes can easily beat any other bikes or even one another when it comes to style and design aspects of them, which in this case, they both have. Now let's delve into the informative bits of the hearts of these champs. The heart of any motorcycle is none other than its engine. And that is one thing that defines its character on the road. The Honda CB300R features a 286cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder engine. The engine arrangement stresses smooth power delivery and efficiency, making it suitable for both urban commuting and spirited rides. All of this is packed with a reasonable 30 horsepower, providing adequate acceleration for city streets and highways. Apart from that, the engine is also designed with other parts related to movement. Features like low friction piston rings, a high density core radiator and an iridium spark plug all contribute to improved fuel efficiency. The bike's weight-saving measures and a redesigned intake architecture contribute to exhilarating initial acceleration for all riders. Meanwhile, the BMW G310R boasts a 313cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder power plant. Despite the slightly larger displacement, the G310R's engine output is comparable to the CB300R, generating around 34 horsepower. BMW's engineering prowess is evident in the G310R's engine design, which features a reverse cylinder layout for improved weight distribution and handling dynamics. The power is routed through a wet slipper clutch, which provides back torque mitigation for a further degree of safety, and then a 6-speed transfer, resulting in a G310R peak speed of 88 miles per hour. The final drive is a strong O-ring chain. The G310R's power comes from a liquid-cooled thumper, so you can expect good thermal endurance even under tough operating circumstances. Its dual overhead cams time the four-valve head for maximum flow into and out of the combustion chamber. Though the engine is a crucial component of any vehicle, it's not the only thing to look for. While both the engine and the horsepower ratings provide insights into a motorbike's potential speed, torque is also vital for real-world performance, particularly when performing overtakes and enthusiastic riding. 
The Honda CV300R has a maximum torque of about 27 newton meters at 7500 rpm. This torque profile accentuates mid-range power, allowing riders to confidently negotiate traffic under undulating terrain. On the other hand, the BMW G310R has a torque output of 28 Nm at 7500 rpm. Despite the minor difference in torque ratings, the G310R's engine feels somewhat more responsive throughout the rpm range thanks to BMW's thorough tuning and engineering expertise. The G310R's torque delivery is linear and dependable, making it enjoyable to ride in a variety of circumstances. So are these bikes as great at handling and brakes as they were being great up until this point? Well, to answer that, we'll have to look into both of the mentioned features to get a clearer look as to how they perform at these. In urban surroundings and on twisting back roads, speed and responsiveness are essential. The Honda CB300R sports a lightweight frame and compact dimensions, allowing riders to easily maneuver through tight spaces and take curves with accuracy. The CB300R's agile handling instills confidence, making it a superb choice for both beginning riders and experienced aficionados. On the other side, the BMW G310R promotes agility and maneuverability through its well-balanced chassis and ergonomic design. The G310R's neutral handling characteristics provide riders a sense of stability and control, allowing them to exceed their boundaries with ease. Whether navigating busy city streets or slicing through the stunning countryside, the G310R delivers an exciting and engaging riding experience. When it comes to the brakes, which is also crucial for ensuring rider safety and giving confidence amid hard riding movements, the CB300R is fitted with a single 296mm disc up front, along with a radial mount Nissan caliper, which provides increasing stopping power and sufficient feedback. The CB300R's braking system provides dependable performance in a variety of road situations, inspiring confidence in the rider. But hold on a second, the BMW G310R has a comparable braking configuration with a single 300mm disc brake up front and a radially mounted caliper. The G310R comes standard with BMW's ABS technology, which improves braking stability and control, particularly during emergency stops and in severe riding conditions. The G310R's braking system instills confidence, allowing riders to control braking force with accuracy and finesse. Now let's jump into the world of suspension and see where do these bikes stand when it comes to a part of the conversation. If you're a bike enthusiast, then you would be familiar with the fact that a well-tuned suspension system is equally as important in a bike as the rest of its parts. This is essential for absorbing bumps and imperfections in the road, ensuring a smooth and comfortable ride quality. When it comes to the Honda CB300R, it has a traditional telescopic front front fork and a rare monoshock absorber which provide a good blend of aggressive handling and ride comfort. The CB300R's suspension system is effective at absorbing road irregularities, providing a comfortable and controlled ride for both rider and pillion. The BMW G310R is also a masterpiece at that. When it comes to suspension, the BMW G310R has an upside down front fork and rear monoshock suspension, which improves the bike's stability and agility during cornering maneuvers. BMW's suspension tuning expertise is evident in the G310R's ability to retain composure across a variety of road surfaces, giving a refined and controlled ride even when pushed to its limits. What about the wheels? The Honda CB300R rides on 17-inch cast aluminium wheels, which find a compromise between strength and weight reduction. These wheels are equipped with gripping radial tires, which provide outstanding traction and handling performance in a variety of road situations. That's, to some extent, the same in the G310R as well. BMW G310R has identical-sized 17-inch cast alloy wheels that are lightweight and durable. The G310R's wheels are equipped with high-quality rubber, which provide excellent grip and stability, whether negotiating city streets or carving through tight mountain roads. On the build quality and finish, the Honda CB300R demonstrates Honda's famed build quality and attention to detail with high quality components and finishes throughout the bike. From the elegant bodywork to the precision engineered components, the CB300R oozes workmanship and refinement, whereas the BMW G310R exemplifies BMW Motorrad's commitment to perfection with impeccable fit and finish and premium materials. The G310R's build quality is evident in its solid structure and precise attention to detail, which improves the overall ownership experience. As for the pricing, the base Honda CB300R model costs 2.4 lakh rupees, whereas the BMW G310R starts at 2.9 lakh rupees, which is 50,000 rupees more expensive. So, what are our final thoughts? Well, to summarize all of this, the Honda CB300R and BMW G310R are two separate interpretations of the modern street motorbike, each with a compelling combination of performance, power, and precision. 
While the CB300R excels at urban agility and fuel efficiency, the G310R distinguishes itself with a quick engine, refined handling and modern amenities. Ultimately, the choice between the Honda CB300R and the BMW G310R comes down to personal preferences, riding style and intended use, whether negotiating city streets, taking weekend trips or exploring picturesque roads. Both motorcycles can meet the needs of discerning riders looking for adventure and thrill on two wheels. So which of these two road beasts would you prefer for your thrilling road experience? Let us know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe for more action-packed adventures.